Game Changer or Hype, BYD's second-gen Blade Battery EV aims to disrupt the market. Blade Battery 2.0, BYD's next-gen electric crossover raises the bar and is ready to go. China's BYD, a manufacturer of electric vehicles, unveiled the new Addo 2 crossover. It's anticipated that the new BYD Addo 2, a compact electric crossover with an emphasis on affordability, will launch later this year in the Chinese market. The electric vehicle BYD E2 costs $112,000. Greater than a BYD Dolphin in size, its blade battery is composed of lithium-ion phosphate. Even though BYD's electric car isn't the greatest at 112 grand, what would you do as a Volkswagen representative attempting to sell an ID3 for twice as much? Who, after all, is going to pay all that? It's not logical. The Ocean Series includes a BYD E2. The vehicle has been produced by BYD since 2019. This is the updated edition. Both the quality and price of this edition surpass those of the previous one. Incredible 112 grand starting price indeed. It's a really nice vehicle. It's predicated on the 3.0e platform. The blade battery is present. It can hold 43.2 kilowatts of energy. Its CLTC range is around 405 kilometers. Therefore, WTP most likely has a 360 kilometer range. At 112 grand, yes, that is quite fantastic. In 2025, the BYD Addo 2 is anticipated to be available for purchase in Europe as well. According to reports, the Addo 2 may cost up to 30,000 GBP in the UK. Rivals of the Addo 2 include the Volkswagen ID2X and the Jeep Avenger. How has BYD influenced the world? Well, BYD has maintained its top spot among Chinese automakers, but it also momentarily overtook Tesla in the world's new energy vehicle market. Information about BYD's plans to launch a range of innovative technologies in 2024, among them the second-generation Blade battery was recently revealed by an internet source. This innovation predicts an astounding 30% improvement in energy density, in addition to a phenomenal 500km range, all on a 5-minute charge. There is a lot of curiosity about this news. Well, let's examine how this technology is revolutionizing the field of new energy vehicles. The development of batteries is a key area of innovation. According to the most current statistics, China's installed power battery capacity reached an astounding 387.4 gigawatt hours in 2023, a significant increase of 32.6% year over year. But where does this power come from? Prominent firms in this field, such as BYD and Cattle, secured notable market shares with installed capacities of 105.4 gigawatt hours and 160.17 gigawatt hours, respectively. Consumer battery demands have, however, changed as a result of changes in market dynamics. The focus on ultra-fast charging experiences has replaced the former emphasis on long-range capabilities. But the new 400 kilometers of NEO's power swap in only 10 minutes has given the all-electric vehicle market new life. BYD plans to introduce the second-generation blade battery in response. With an energy density of 180 watt-hours per kilogram, this new battery is expected to surpass its predecessor by a significant margin. Moreover, the newly built battery pack seeks to greatly accelerate charging times. There is information online circulating that the battery is already in the development stage, even if official specs and release dates have not been confirmed. The improvements are mainly concentrated on improving the battery's compartment's interior space usage and changing the anode-cathode materials used to increase energy density. It's anticipated that using this technology would produce better performance across BYD's electric vehicle lineup. And with an energy density of 140 watt-hours per kilogram, BYD's first-generation blade battery trailed slightly behind conventional tenory lithium batteries. On the other hand, the demodularized architecture of the first-generation battery allowed for higher use inside the battery pack. In order to improve cell energy density, the second-generation battery may modify its sizes of the battery compartment as well as individual cells in order to better optimize space use. What more does the second-gen blade battery provide? Furthering the advancement of energy density increases will be modifications to anode-cathode materials, which will be a critical area of research. Regarding the second-generation blade battery's prospects, some sources indicate that it may achieve eventually 180 watt-hours per kilogram, allowing for the use of a smaller battery pack with a maximum range of about 700 kilometers. If verified, this would not only provide BYD's electric cars with a notable edge in terms of charging speed, but also increase their competitiveness. 
in terms of range for buyers. This results in an electric driving experience that is more effective and convenient. BYD's second-generation blade battery goes beyond structural optimization and explores chemical composition. Well, what's the battery made of? You don't want to miss out on this, do you? The negative electrode materials of conventional batteries are usually carbon black or graphite. However, the next generation battery seeks to boost energy density by including manganese elements into the negative electrode material. It's anticipated that this mod would improve battery performance even further, setting new records for range and charging speed for BYD's electric cars. Also, the way this battery functions in really cold temperatures is noteworthy. Wintertime significantly reduces the performance of traditional batteries. However, this problem may be substantially mitigated by the second-gen blade battery, which has better structural design and chemical formulations. This guarantees consumers a dependable electric vehicle choice for both the sweltering summer heat and the bitter winter cold. Well, what more is BYD planning to do, you ask? BYD has also announced the launch of the brand new DM 5.0 super hybrid platform in addition to the blade battery. By using a power split design, this platform is able to precisely manage both torque and motor speed. This guarantees that the engine runs more smoothly and efficiently, all at different loads and revolutions under all driving circumstances, resulting in extremely low fuel consumption and a longer driving range. The platform offers direct power output, effective mode switching, and strong support for aggressive driving in a variety of modes, including pure electric four-wheel drive, hybrid four-wheel drive, extended range rear-wheel drive, and high-speed direct drive. The direct power output, effective mode switching, and increased generator efficiency of DM 5.0 are its main advantages. When driving in urban areas, it can run exclusively on electricity. But when traveling on highways, it can transition to an effective hybrid mode. This adaptability enhances overall vehicle performance and fuel economy while offering consumers a more customized and varied driving experience. But first, there were reports about the DM 5.0 super hybrid platform, which were later denied. Thus, it's yet unknown whether this platform is even real. But if it is implemented, it will give BYD sales of electric vehicles and technical advancements a huge boost. This technology's debut will more fully satisfy customers' demands in various driving situations, expanding and diversifying BYD's product lineup. BYD plans to apply this cutting-edge technology by integrating it into many new vehicles. The Yang Wang model, which has already been submitted to the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology, is the eagerly awaited debut model, launching in the first part of this year, which is the anticipated timeline. Images included in the file appear to show that the new model keeps the same general look as the prior iteration. Strong lines on the front end and the C-shaped lightning arrangement make it highly recognizable. It radiates the classic GT model look. We're excited to see how BYD develops technology going forward to give customers more sophisticated, practical, and effective travel experiences. And that's all guys, it's going to be quite revolutionary, isn't it? Well, do let us know your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe to our channel for more information.